much like you, I have to say. I, I've been constantly impressed by your historical references. Oh, Being, I'm a trier. He's a pro. <laughs> no, that was good. And how good to see him after so long, right? Yeah. He's always a calming influence as well. He's always great to have on set as well because he is kind of like, I don't want to say like he's the dad of the group because it's not, he's just, he's far too cool and you know, young at heart, but he's, he's mm. kind of calming. He's kind of like got that um about yeah. him. Yeah. Totally. I, I remember when I was doing my scenes with him, because I did the majority of my scenes with him, I'd say, as the character. And I could almost never tell when he was acting because he'd be this sort of like, you know, uh, very considerate, very interesting to talk to in between takes. And then action would be yelled and he'd, he would just keep this same energy. So it wasn't like that, oh, an actor prepares and he has to be so different. He just... He just kind of brought this essence through. And I, I, it was like a masterclass working with him. I would watch him like a hawk for how he did stuff because I learned so much just watching him. Yeah, I didn't get quite as much to do with him. I mean, Rollo was always going to get trampled on horses and getting kind of taken hostage by him, but I didn't get many scenes with him. But I did get to see him work a lot. I used to love kind of, I used to do that. I used to spy on all of you. And I had a scene off. I used to kind of come by behind the monitors and just watch people doing their scenes. And it was kind of nice to be a Viking and then step into kind of like the Saxon world and spy on yeah. you, Minus and Moe. So different. So different. And also, you know, he was, everyone always kind of talks about how all these ideas that Travis had, but Linus was the opposite. He was that kind of actor that I, I would try to be like, let's try this and let's cut this and choppy changey. And he would always say, let's just do it the way Michael wrote it. Let's just, mm. let's just do it exactly. And, and it kind of, I saw both sides and he would always find the juicy bits that I, that I had overlooked because I was be, being too you know, enthusiastic about putting my mark on things. Yeah. So that taught me a lot too. Well, guys, listen up. You've heard King Egbert himself, Linus Roach. That's our second Vicast. It's a Viking thing. And next thing, we're going to have something a little bit different. We're going to shake it up a little bit. We're going to have some fans of the show, but also Amy and I are fans of these guys. They are from Sea Spiracy. You can see it on Netflix. It's an amazing documentary about the state of our oceans and climate and how the industrial fishing industry are kind of taking over and poachers. And it kind of covers the whole gambit of what we're doing to the oceans and how we can maybe change before it's too late. But we've got Ali Tabrizi, and he's coming on to talk about Sea Spiracy on our next Vicast. And that, that's a good point, Clev. And he, he comes through some of the charity work that you've done. But what we're trying to do here on Vicast is, of course, not only give you behind the scenes of what it was like to be on the show, but to reach out to people who we think are doing very Viking things. And once you hear this guy's story and what they've achieved and the absolute danger and terror that they put themselves through um, to to try to save the oceans is incredible. And he's, I mean, he's as Viking as they come, maybe in a different shell, not so giant and hairy as you, my friend, but uh, but Viking nonetheless. Yeah, he stands up for what he believes in in the face of adversity and he does not back down. And if you haven't seen Sea Spiracy yet, go out and watch it on Netflix because if you've watched it before you listen to our podcast, it'll make a lot more sense. And thanks again for joining us. That was number two. And we are so excited. We have so much more in store for you. Come visit us on our Instagram at Vicast Official. And we've also got a website, Vicast.com. And we have all sorts of goodies for you. And we're really, really hoping that you reach out to us. As Clive says, slide into our DMs. Let us know who else you want us to talk to so that you can enjoy listening. I can't wait to hear some of your messages. Get in touch. Vicast Official on Instagram and Vicast.com. It's a Viking thing. See you next time.